I am Evolution Marketing Representative Staff. Today we will learn how to create a WordPress website step by step with no steps skipped. This tutorial is the easiest way for you to follow. The website that you're going to learn to create is mobile friendly. It can work on iPad, smartphone and Android. Superb, isn't it? All you need to do is buy a hosting and create domain name, install WordPress, install the theme, add pages, change home page, create a logo and favicon, hosting and domain. Go to hooterhost.com. This site provides a lot of features as you can see here. Now we sign up. Choose Evolution Marketing Solution. Click Order Now. On this page, you need to fill your domain name. Domain name is your website name. Mine is DIY WordPress website. There are a lot of options like .com, .net, .org, .us, .ca, .biz, .info, and .tv. But I will choose .com. Check availability. Okay, that domain is available. You will be asked for billing cycle, monthly, semi-annually or annually. I will choose monthly. Check out. In this review page, you need to fill your data. Also, domain registrant information. Add a new contact if you feel that you need to. And one thing you need to know, you need to fill promotional code. Type only one cent and validate it. Once you validate it, you will get a redemption. You just need to pay one cent only for hosting. Complete this order. You will then get an email that will inform you about your password to your hosting client area. Also, another email will inform you about the details of the invoice. You can see here that you only paid one cent for the hosting and ten dollars and fifty three cents for the domain. And the last one is the email that will inform you about your user ID and password of your cPanel, server name and IP. Also, a temporary web page URL where you can go to. Back to your last email, right click on the link and open on the new tab. This is your cPanel login. Back to your email and copy the username and password for your cPanel as provided on the email. This is your cPanel dashboard. Go to software and service. There are Fantastica Deluxe and quick install. We will use quick install. WordPress then continue. Then fill this with your email ID and block title. I will fill it with tutorial then admin and your name. Installation of WordPress theme complete. Now you can log into your WordPress website through admin area. Username and password to login are provided here. You also get notification on your email about your WordPress admin area here. Now we will try to log in, open a new tab. This is your WordPress admin. Fill the username and password as provided on email. This is a WordPress admin dashboard. Install WordPress complete.
we will change the password of your WordPress admin login. Go to user, then your profile, go down. Here is the place where you can change your password. Your profile is updated. Go to Appearance, Themes. 2011 is your default theme. Let's see this on browser. This is good, but we will change the theme into something more modern and mobile friendly. Back to your dashboard. Install Themes. Feature. I want to have a theme that's mobile friendly, modern and also easy to customize. I think responsive theme is pretty good. Install now. Then activate. Your theme is changed. See on the browser how it looks. This is a good theme. You can minimize it and see how the structure of the theme changes. This theme is also great to see on a mobile. Back to your dashboard and see. You can change logo, home page, social icons easily. Go to your dashboard, pages, add new, write a title, I already have content for my page, so I will copy it and then paste. Then customize it. I also will add image to this add image button. Select a file. On right tab, you will see resolution of image and the setting. You can change it to smaller, medium or large file. Insert to post. Now the image is on the page. Preview changes. We will see how it looks. Okay. Now we will add contact form to the site. Back to dashboard. Plugin. Add new. Type contact form. I like contact form 7. Easy to use, eh? Activate. Now, contact form 7, which was on the list. Click setting. On form column, we will see the list that will show on contact form. Your name, your email, subject, your message, and submit button. On email column is the tab where the email will be sent. Fill it with your email and message body is the content of the email. Save it. Go to pages, add new, type contact us. Now we will copy code of contact form. Publish it. See how it looks? This is how contact form looks like.
Now we will add a new page. A page about video where we will embed my YouTube there. open YouTube site. This is the video that I will embed. Copy the code and paste on your page. Publish it and preview on new tab. This is how it looks. There are four pages. Now I will add new page about the price list and need a plugin. So go to plugin. Add new pricing table. Activate plugin. Now pricing table tab will be on your dashboard. Add new package title. Feature description. See how this pricing plan creates? Publish Here you can create this pricing plan in a grey template or green template. Now create new pages then open pricing table in new tab to make it easy to copy the code. Add title Then copy the code on another tab. And paste it. See how it looks? I didn't add price and sign in button. We will add it later. Also I will erase features on the bottom to make it simple. Back to pricing table and edit it. Add price.
delete bottom feature and add button text and click star icon it means this package being in promotion update reload Now we will customize this page. We will delete these widgets. Also delete comments box here. Back to dashboard. Pages. All pages. Quick edit. Deselect allow comment. Update. Due to all pages that I was creating. Comment box disappears here. Now we will delete some widgets. Recent post, recent comment, archives, categories and meta. And leave search box widget still there. Dashboard, appearance, widgets. Drag all widget that we do not need. Reload. All widgets will disappear. Now we will delete sample page. Back to your dashboard. Pages, all pages, click trash. Now that page is deleted. See how the site looks? Now we will move forward to another step. Change home pages. I will change this image and text on home page. Also arrange this tab order. Go to your dashboard. Appearance. Appearance. Type your menu name that you want. Create menu, on pages tab, select pages that you want to add to your menu and on custom link tab type your website URL. This is your home page. Add to menu. Now we see 5 pages on this menu. Drag the page that you want to your ordering list. As you want.
Save Menu. This theme allows us to add this menu on top as header menu. Subheader menu. And footer menu. Let us try to add menu on top. Header and footer. Reload. This is top menu. Header menu is located here. And footer menu is here. And I will delete top and footer menu. Save it. Changed. Now we will change these text on home page. Appearance, theme options, home page, headline, type a headline, sub headline, content area. Learn how to create a WordPress website step by step. Call to action is A button here. When someone clicks this button, this will go to our video tab. So, copy your link of our video. Paste it here. Call to action text is the text that will show on that button. Save options. Now we will change this image. To make it easy, click here. There are some codes for images. YouTube as I will add image to my home page so I will copy this paste it here but you need to change image URL so go to media add new select Edit Here is image URL Copy this Replace here And save Reload so we can see how it looks like Find us button goes to our videos tab. We will change home widget. There are three widgets. Dashboard widget. Here they are. Go to home widget 1 drag text widget we try to type a title and some texts
save. Sure how it looks? But it would be good if I add some image or icon there. And it also needs plugin. So go to plugin and search it. It's called Black Studio. Install it. Go to widget. You found Black Studio Tiny MCE widget. Go to home widget one. Drag it. This widget allows us to add media and text. So is We will add icon before text. Now we will search icon on findicons.com. This site is pretty good enough. Save icon. Add media. Upload and select. Save it. Work on the website. Blue. But I think the icon should be resized to something smaller. Okay, great. Now we will fill the home widget 2 and 3.
and we will add hyperlink on contact us text. Go to contact us tab, copy the URL, paste it. Okay, when contact us text is clicked, it will go to contact us tab. On home widget 3, we will add a link to our video tab as well. In this tutorial, you will learn how to change Favicon logo and website background. Let's start this. Go to your WordPress admin dashboard. Then go to setting. As you see that site title is tutorial and tagline is just another WordPress site. This tagline is standard from WordPress. We are going to change it. Save changes. Then go to appearance. Background. Then choose a file. I already have a 128 into 128 pixel image that would be repeat tile as a background. Upload. Don't forget to click tile. Save changes. Now we'll see how it looks like. Now we will change Farrakhan. Select a small rectangle and crop it. Type a font or image as a symbol for your Farrakhan. Make it sure it fits your rectangle. Then customize it as you need. Save it on your desktop so it would be easy for you to find. Back to your browser. 
Open a new tab and type www.favicon.cc. This is a site where you can create and customize a favicon of your web for free. Import images. Choose a file. Don't forget to keep dimensions. Upload. Now you can see small image of the font that I created and how it looks as a favicon on the top. Now I will add a border for my favicon. I will choose dark gray. Create a line on the favicon. Look at how the favicon is on the top bar. Download it. Drag it to your desktop. Now we'll get back to your WordPress dashboard. And now we're going to find a plugin for Favicon. Favicon. A lot of plugins, but I usually use Caption Favicon, the easy one. Activate it. Setting. This Favicon is as easy as you upload an image. Really, really easy. And I like it. Choose a favicon of D with border on your desktop. Okay. It will show up. Don't forget to choose set as favicon on the bottom. Save setting. See how it looks on the web. Done. Now we're going to change a logo. Go to logotypemaker.com. Click on Logo Generator. There will be a lot of sample logos, but I will choose the free one. Now we're going to customize this logo. Provide us to change text font type. Also, you can change your logo gradient and reflection.
OK, everything is done. Now we will crop this. Don't forget, we should choose a transparent background. Done. Now downloading logo. Download PNG. Drag this logo to desktop. Back to your WordPress dashboard where we will upload this logo. Find the logo file on your desktop. Crop it wherever you find it necessary. Here we go, our logo. Save changes. Go to the side and see how it looks. Done. Oh great. All the steps are complete and now you can create your WordPress website by following this easy tutorial. I'll see you on another video. Thank you for watching.